One more friendly for Germany before the Euros get underway and time to celebrate Manuel Neuer, the captain's 100th game for the national side. Quite an achievement. And Toni Kroos back in action as well. He returns. Kai Havertz back in the starting lineup also. Well, less than a minute gone and Germany very much setting the tone for the evening. Ginter with a through ball, Müller with a really good chance. And Germany letting Latvia know that it is going to be a long, long night already. Knocking on the front door. Fast forward into the 19th minute, Germany dominating possession. Up until this point and throughout. And well, another reason to celebrate Robin Gosens with his first international goal. And not a bad way to uh, start things off for Germany either. And well, they would keep that momentum going. Just a few minutes later, Gundogan, and what a finish that is. The Man City midfielder in fine goal-scoring form for club and now for country as well. A little bit of help with the one-two off the defender, but no mistakes with the finish right into the top corner. And Germany 2-0 up. 26th minute. Latvia really struggling to deal with the constant onslaught from Germany. And then Kimmich trying to get in on the act as well. Playing in a right-back position here this evening. Ball finds its way through to him, but he finds the woodwork. A minute later, Germany continue to push forward. Lovely build-up play here. And uh, Thomas Müller really enjoying his return to the national team as well. And showing his gratitude, arriving late in the box with yet another international goal for the Bayern Munich star player. Before the break, Germany hungry for more. Müller this time inside to Kai Havertz. Lovely touch and, well, a little bit of good fortune. Helps it past the keeper. It would go down as an own goal for Robert Ozols in between the sticks. But Kai Havertz doing all the hard work before getting the shot off then. Hummels with a beautiful ball to find Serge Gnabry. And just like his Bayern Munich teammate finishes in style, how about that for a through ball from uh, Matt Hummels? And then, cool as a cucumber, Gnabry on the half volley. Hits the diagonal into the side netting to give Germany a comfortable 5 0 lead at half time. Into the second half, and Germany picking up exactly where they left off. Half time substitute, Timo Werner. Slots it through the keeper's legs. Having just come on at the break. Joined by Leroy Sané as well. Replacing Havertz and Gnabry. And well, Sané wanted to follow suit and very nearly did as well. That really should have been seven for Germany. Sané trying to side foot it into the near corner. But just puts it wide. It was a quiet evening for the visitors, but they did have one moment to enjoy, and the person enjoying it most will be the goal scorer, Alexei Savalyevs. An absolutely sensational finish on his left foot. Neuer no, yeah, not stopping that one. But Germany would have the last word. It would be Leroy Sané arriving late, just like Müller in the first half. Making up for that miss not too long before. And putting the icing on the cake for Yogi Love's sides. The uh, perfect way to get ready for that opening game against France on the 15th of June. A fantastic performance, seven goals. And if Germany can replicate that sort of football against France, we could be in for a fantastic summer. Bring on the Euros.